Hi everyone, Christina here. I have created some printables based on that hand-painted Christmas card that is in the previous video. And I wanted to just show you guys how you can assemble those really quickly. So I'm gonna start with the full color version. There are two versions in my shop. There's a full color and then a black and white version that you can use for foiling. So I'm gonna first show you the, the full color version. Basically, you just print it out on some nice cardstock. I'm using some Nina Solar White 80 pound. And you want to print it out in the best print settings possible for your printer. And then you're going to cut from crop mark to crop mark. And you don't want to cut all the way edge to edge because then you'll lose the other crop marks. So I'm just gonna do some vertical cuts matching up those little white lines. And then I can turn and do the horizontal cuts. There are two sizes of each card. Um, the one I'm cutting is the full card front size meaning that it is right up here it's five and a half by four and a quarter and that means that this card front should fit perfectly on your A2 cards. Okay looks like I've got just a little spot here that didn't cut all the way through. Lovely. Okay so there is my principle. Now all I have to do is take a A2 card that I've already cut down to the right size and folded it, and I'm gonna be uh, gluing this right on top of the, the card. You wanna get your adhesive all the way to the edge because you don't want it lifting up. So I like to almost overlap the edge a little bit, let it go off the edge. And then you're also going to just do a couple little lines of adhesive in the center. I always adhere from the fold and I start in one corner and I kind of press that down with my fingertip and then go to the other corner. Line that up with the cardstock and then press down. And if there's a little bit of cardstock showing and you can trim it off, you can definitely do that. I'm just going to trim off this edge on my paper trimmer. Looks great. And there is my printed card. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the foiled card. This is one of the smaller sizes. So it's going to be slightly smaller than your regular size card print. And I'm just going to cut out one when you're using thicker cardstock like this, it's especially important to use the crop marks instead of using your paper trimmer to cut out the initial cut of the cards. Because if your printer is anything like mine, sometimes when you use the manual feed, it can um, pull the paper in just slightly, slightly skewed to one side. The cardstock I'm using right now is, let's see. It's called Blueberry Sour from Basil. It's just a nice navy shade. I'm using a Mink Mini Machine today. And I'm going to put it on the fifth setting just because I've done some tests with this cardstock before. And the texture of the cardstock makes it so that it needs a little bit more heat to get all of the foil adhered. The foil I'm using today is from Deco Foil. It's the teal color. And I'm just going to take one sheet, because these come in sheets of five. I am going to take one sheet and cut that down to the size I need. I like to have a little bit of overlap, so I'll just cut it a slightly larger. It just makes it easier to get it in the machine correctly. So I'm going to put the blue print out and then the teal foil on top making sure all of the black is covered and then I will just run this through
Okay, and these generally just pop right out. I'm just going to let this cool just a tiny bit. And then I can pull up and I have all of that gorgeous foiling. It's a nice teal blue shade on top of that navy. Super pretty. And I don't have, it looks like I don't have any spots that didn't foil. So really just test on your machine if you're using a laminating machine, if you can turn the heat up a little bit, um, or if you're using a mink. I find that when you're using this really heavy cardstock, like basil or things like that that have a tiny bit of texture, it's best to use kind of a really high heat. All right, so there we go, there's that card. And we have the full size card front. And then I have a couple of more examples of foiling. So I've got a gray card sack with silver foiling. This is the color Sugar Wafer from Basil. And then this red right here, I believe is Red Hot from Basil as well. So lots of fun ways you can do foiling on your cards or you can do a full color. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, if you want links to where you can purchase these digital printout files, they are down in the video description. Or you can just click over to my blog and see all the info over there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.